Today on MTG Unpacked, it's time to crack into box number three of Dominaria. And I have Gideon and Nissa here to do the pack blessing duties today. So let's get stuck into this. And if you're not familiar with the pack blessings, it's a rather strange ritual that has been on this channel for some time where we try to get some good pulls by having the planeswalkers bless the packs. Make of that what you will. So let's set up here. So we have one row, two, whoa, and an avalanche already. See if we can get them all nicely set up again. Alright, so how are we going to do this? We will have each planeswalker bless them like so. And we'll have Gideon do the other side. This is a very strange thing, but I swear it works. Sometimes. Okay, so we did pretty well on box one. It was a decent box. Box number two. I'm going to say it was even better, but we are still airing those videos, so actually the rest of box number two probably won't go live until this one has. So stay tuned on the channel for more unboxings of Dominaria, and let's see what we pull today. So we'll start off with Deep Freeze, Fervent Strike. Sarah Disciple, Homerid Explorer, Gift of Growth, Dark Bargain, Lanawar Scout, Stronghold Confessor, Tragic Poet, Academy Journey Mage, and Uncommon is Lingering Phantom, Triumph of Gerard, Shield of the Realm, and oh, there we go, Mythic, Lyra Dawnbringer. Legendary Creature Angel 5-5 five, five for 5 mana with Flying, First Strike and Lifelink. Other angels you control get plus 1, plus 1 and have Lifelink. Fantastic. We're doing great already. And a Mountain and a Sapling token. I had a bunch of those in uh, the D Dominaria draft today. So I was doing Tribal Sapplings and what else do I have? Elves and flyers. Okay, and I will try to speed this up a little because I just realized we're not in snack mode anymore. So let's skip through the commons. We must look for the rats, of course. Okay, so there are commons. Get those out of the way. Uncommons, we have wizard's retort. Knight of Malice and Primeval's Glorious Rebirth is the rare. So that's a legendary sorcery and you get to return all legendary permanent cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. And Artifice's Assistant Foil, very nice, has flying whenever you cast a historic spell scry one and a Yargle. Good old Yargle, Mountain and a Knight. So how's everyone done with Dominaria so far? Have you participated in the pre-release? Or what about the draft events? Are you thinking the set is pretty nice or you're a bit underwhelmed? Leave a note in the comments. Next up, another familiar card from my draft deck. I'll be doing a bit of a Small deck tech on that at some point soon. We get Spore Swarm, Curator's Ward, and a Siege Gang Commander. Ah, oh, this is what I needed for my mono red deck. I ended up buying some from my LGS. So when Siege Gang Commander enters the battlefield, create three 1 1 red goblin creature tokens. You can pay one and a mountain sacrifice goblin, and it deals two damage to any target. 2 2 for five mana. I love this outfit, latest in goblin fashion, not sure what happened here, 
Is that mud they're flinging? Who knows? I probably don't want to know. Okay, and shield of the realm. Wow, look at that foiling. Nice. Artifact equipment. If a source would do damage to a quick creature, prevent two of that damage. Okay, and a Slin Voter, the Rising Deep. Island, and a Sapling. Of course, we get a Sapling. Okay, next pack. Skip through the stuff here, the commons. Uncommons, we have Triumph of Gerard, Weight of Memory, and Khan's Temporal Sundering. So what is this? Legendary Sorcery for 6 mana. Target player takes an extra turn after this one. Return up to one target non-land permanent to its owner's hand. Exile Khan's Temporal Sundering. Ooh, doing really well with the foils in this one. Island, fantastic. And Slimefoot, there he is, Fungus. Fungus, Saplings, all that good stuff. Forest, there he is, Sapling. Okay, and I'm probably just grabbing some random piles here, but it's all good because we're going to open every pack here. And we're going to have a blast doing it. And Dub, that one was pretty good. In the draft. Sapling Migration, another one. Okay, Untamed Kebu, Merfolk Trickster, and Precognition Field. It's an enchantment for four. You may look at the top card of your library. You can cast it if it's an instant or sorcery card. And pay three, exile the top card of your library. Alright, and the Quend Pride of Femerif is a legendary creature with a Swamp and a Soldier token. So we have uh, my Mythics buried here somewhere. Covered it with a land, that's no good. So Lyra Dawnbringer. Somebody, was it that one? No, it was the other angel somebody used against me in the draft today. Okay, let's see, very important. We check for rats. We do not want a rat infestation or a fungal infestation. That's very bad. Fight with fire. Song of Freyalise. And settle the score. Okay, that tricked me. And Traxos Scourge of Krug. 774 mana. He has trample when he enters the battlefield. He's tapped. Doesn't untap during your untap step. And whenever you cast a historic spell, you can untap him. Pretty cool. Mountain and a sapling. Yeah, I think it was this one was the, uh, the other angel I was thinking of. Okay, Gitu Lava Runner. That's the thing. Has anybody played the Gitu Lava Runner? Is that how you say Gitu? Gitu? Leave a note in the comments. Okay, next up we have Fight with Fire. Thorn Elemental and Lich's Mastery. This is a nasty card. Three and three swamps, legendary enchantment, hexproof. You can't lose the game. Whenever you gain life, draw that many cards. And this is a great combo spoiler for Approach of the Second Sun. Think about it. Whenever you lose life, for each one life you lost, exile a permanent you control or a card from your hand or graveyard. When it leaves the battlefield, you lose the game. Okay, so that is pretty cool. And a Tetsuko Umazawa Fugitive. And a Plains and a Sapling. And if you have not been paying attention, the channel just recently passed 1,000 subscribers. That's right. So I think it was on the 28th of April 2018. We pass that magical milestone, and yep, very happy about that. There will be a live stream coming up soon uh, to be announced. Where we'll have a lot of fun cracking packs and other surprises, so that ought to be nice. 
So stay tuned for that. Next up, Memorial to Folly. Memorial to War. And a Helm of the Host. This was a pain in the butt at pre-release. Legendary artifact equipment for four at the beginning of combat on your turn. Create a token that's a copy of equipped creature. Except the token isn't legendary. If equipped creature is legendary, that token gains haste. Equip cost is five. And a Garn of the Blood Flame. Forest and what the... I haven't seen this one before. Fiddle focus. Nightmare Horror. What would you do if you saw that in your fridge in the middle of the night? My god, look at that thing. Look at the teeth, look at the eyes. Ugh. I want to know how you generate those token creatures. If anyone knows, leave a note in the comments. That would be a pretty cool deck to play, I imagine. Okay, looking for rats. Where are the rats? I'm not, oh, there's our fungal infection. Steer clear of that. Next up, Chainers, Torment, one of these nice Saga cards, Memorial to War, and an Oath of Teferi, Legendary Enchantment, 4-5 mana, when it enters the battlefield, exile another target permanent you control, return it to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step, and you may activate the loyalty abilities of Planeswalkers you control twice each turn rather than once. That's a good deal. Baird, Steward of Argive, is our legendary with an island and a sapling. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna be on the lookout for no, more of these nightmare horrors. I'm gonna see if there's some variety in the nightmare horror token arena. Cold water snapper. Has anybody eaten a cold water snapper before? Next we have Champion of the Flame. He does not look happy, especially when he is out of focus. Jorah is familiar. Zalfran Void and Tisha Ancestors Apostle, Legendary Creature Bird Cleric, Flying 2 2 4 mana. Whenever you cast a historic spell, return target creature card with converted mana cost 3 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Dirty big bird fellow, pay attention to him or he'll peck your eyes out and this uh, goblin's pretty cool. And very shortly I imagine these cards are going to start sliding around everywhere as they have a habit of doing. I think it's something to do with the new coating I've put on them. Could be wrong but I have not typically had that problem with previous sets. Memorial to Folly, Wild Onslaught, Board the Weatherlight, Davenant Trapper, Foil, okay, and a Marwan the Nurturer, Legendary Creature Elf Druid, 1 1 for 3 mana. Whenever another elf enters battlefield under your control, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it, and you get to add an amount of forest equal to Marwan's power. Very nice elf mana ramping technique there, planes and a sapling, and I keep covering that angel with lands. Okay, come on, we need a Teferi. Has anybody else pulled a Teferi? I don't think we've got one of those just yet. Okay, Spore Swarm, Settle the Score, and Yorgmoth's Vile Offering. That looks pretty vile. Legendary Sorcery for 5, and you can only cast it. If you control a Legendary Creature or Planeswalker, put up to one Target Creature or Planeswalker card from the graveyard onto the battlefield under your control, and destroy up to one Target Creature or Planeswalker Exile, Yorgmoth's Vile Offering, and a Tiana Ships Caretaker with a Swamp. Nice Swamp there. And isn't that that Cabal's uh, Stronghold? I think that's what it's called. 
And a soldier token. Okay, getting close to a third of the way through here. Still no rats, not impressed. I would have expected at least five rats by now. Using my very scientific technique. Dauntless bodyguard. Diligent Excavator and Urza's Ruinous Blast, Legendary Sorcery for 5, Exile on Non-Land Permanent Set, uh, Legendary. And an Denethe Capuchin Paragon, that's pretty good. Forest and an Emblem of Teferi, whenever you draw a card, Exile Target, Permanent and Opponent Controls. Let's put that aside because we may need it. And of course, we're going to pull a foil card. So, if you have stopped watching the video, then I don't know why I'm talking anymore. But if you are still watching, stay tuned. I'm pretty sure we're going to get some crazy pulls in this one. Because we have blessed the packs with Gideon and Nyssa. How could we not get crazy pulls? Okay, Eldest Reborn. Merfolk Trickster, and there we go, Maldrotha, 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 the Grave Tide, 664, 6 mana, legendary creature, elemental, avatar, mythic, uh, not worth terribly much at this point, but still it's a mythic, I'll take it, during each of your turns, you may play up to one permanent card of each permanent type, from your graveyard, if a card has multiple permanent types, choose one as you play it. That is pretty good. And a Garner the Blood Flame with an island and a sapling. No Nightmare Horror. So we're on the lookout for the Nightmare Horror. I don't know if we're going to see any more of those. I'd like to collect a few. Unfortunately, there are probably limits. Actually, you can't even have it in your deck because it's a token. So how do we generate Nightmare Horrors? That is the question. Knight of Grace. Human Knight. Memorial to Glory. Sulfur Falls. There we go. So, and Spatterfield Tap unless you control an island or a mountain. Some nice artwork there with a foil, Memorial to Folly. Instead of field tapped, add a swamp or pay two in a swamp, suck it and return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. And a Whisper Blood Liturgist. This is a legendary planes and oh, what do we have here? Another cool token. Zombie Knight. Fantastic artwork has Menace and it's a 2-2, so how do we generate Zombie Knights? Another thing to keep an eye out for. It's probably on one of these commons or uncommons I'm just breezing through. So if you know the answer to that question, please leave a note in the comments. And no rats again. Very disappointing. But we do get a Lingering Phantom, Flame of Keld, and a Daring Archaeologist, Human Artificer. Thought they were going rock climbing there, but maybe not. 3-3 three, three for 4 mana. When it's better food, you may return target artifact card from your graveyard to your hand. And whenever you cast a historic spell, put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on it. And Arvad the Cursed, Swamp, and just another Sapling. Getting everything mixed up here. Okay, next pack. We have a Jaya, maybe we'll pull a Jaya. Another one. That'd be nice. No rats. What is happening? The exterminators have been through, gotten rid of our rats. 
Has anybody at your LGS played a Rat Colony deck? I'm curious how that worked out for them. Is it just a novelty or will it be a tier 1 deck to be feared and respected? Memorial to Unity. Goblin Barrage. Alright, Mythic! History of Banalia for 3 mana. This is a really juicy card. 1 and 2 in this saga. Create a 2 2 white knight creature token with vigilance. And 3 knights you control get plus 2 plus 1 until end of turn. This seems to be very popular. Probably like a uh, tokens uh, knight deck. So, what are we at? Three mythics so far, not bad, not bad. Urgos, the empty one. And a forest and a soldier. So three mythics, that's what we pulled from the uh, bundle this weekend. So if you haven't seen that video, you may want to check that out. Three mythics in a bundle is typically pretty good. Um, it would be a I would say a below average box if we only pulled three in here so no doubt there are a couple of others poking around somewhere next up Sarah Angel fantastic artwork Urza's Tome Sorcerer's Wand and a Keldon Overseer foil Human Warrior and as uh, Heed, Jin of the Lamp. So this was a promo card I got at the draft. 5 6 for 6 mana. You may pay 3 in an island and tap an untapped artifact you control rather than pay the spell's mana cost. Has flying. Alright. And an island and a knight token. Okay, so 3 mythics. Let's see if we can. Increase that count any further. Really? Has anybody got a Tolarian Scholar deck? This guy just looks so smug. I'm a Tolarian Scholar. You will respect me. Not a huge fan here. Academy Drake. Seismic Shift. Okay. Next up, Memorial to Unity, Sanctum Spirit, Mox Amber, yes! Zero cost legendary artifact, this is one of the big hits, I was hoping we would pull one of these. Tap, add one mana of any colour among legendary creatures and planeswalkers you control, fantastic. And we've got a bit of pack here, so that's four. Mythics, Vada, Keeper of the Flame. And a Plains, and a Sapling. Yep, the dancing Saplings are a thing. That's what I did in my draft. I had a whole army of Saplings and other things, and we reached a stalled board state. It was pretty crazy, that game went on for ages. And I ended up milling myself. Very embarrassing. Okay. You probably got a peek at the card back there. Sentinel of the Pearl Trident. Thalid Soothsayer. And a Gilded Lotus. That's a solid pull. Artifact for five. You can tap and add three mana of any one colour. And I think I have a foil one of these somewhere around the place. And a slime foot the stowaway with a swamp and a sapling. Okay, next pack. We need to move faster. Yes! Rat colony! Yes, there it is! Finally, rat colony. Woo. I don't know what came over me. These rat colonies. Just love them. Want more rats. I've got to do a rat colony deck. I've got to try that out. Fire Fist Adept. Sage of Latnam. Juggernaut. And 
Torgar Famine Incarnate. Legendary Creature Avatar 7 6 for 8 mana is an additional cost to cast this spell. Yada yada yada. So, something about life totals. Yep, yeah. uh, if you want to read that, freeze frame the video. And a forest and a sapling. Some of these cards take a little bit of time to digest. Gotta let it stew in the brain a little. And let's see. We're getting maybe we have a I was gonna say I hope we had a clump of rats. What is that called? A rat king? You ever read about the rat king? Whatever you do, do not Google that. Just warning you. Elfheim Druid. The Flame of Keld. Ugh. Weight of Memory. I keep sliding these cards around everywhere. And Sentinel of the Pearl Trident. Foil. Okay, there we go. That's pretty cool. And that, yeah, that really feels different, those foils. I hope they stay flat. We'll have a look at those in a moment. Naban, Dean of Iteration, Legendary Creature, Human Wizard, is rare, 2-1 two, for 2 mana. If a wizard entering the battlefield under your control causes a triggered ability of an opponent you control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time. Always like these additional triggers. And a demon with flying trample, 6-6. Six, six. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice another creature. If you count, this creature deals 6 damage to you. So that must be the token that they have um what is that the is it the right of bells and lock is that the card that's probably the token you need for that so i wonder if we'll pull one of those and no rats but we do have a cool mesa unicorn has anyone done the tribal horse thing Tribal Unicorn, what is that, um, what is that Sphinx or something, you can name a card as like turn all your creatures into unicorns, I see Manipulator, Damping Sphere, that's a solid pull, the first eruption, so this is a Saga cool artwork with one first eruption deals one damage to each creature without flying, Two, add two mountains, and three, sacrifice a mountain if you do. The first eruption deals three damage to each creature. And a Whisper Blood Liturgist. And a mountain and a knight token. And if you have not already entered the giveaway, we're still doing the 900 subscriber giveaway at the time of this filming. Check that out, we're giving away a Dominaria pre-release pack. So that's open to residents of US and Canada. I'll leave a link in the description. Okay, we get a Skizik, whatever that is, a Sorcerer's Wand, and Kamal's Druidic Val, Legendary Sorcery for X and Two Forests. Look at the top X cards of your library. You may put any number of land and or legendary permanent cards with the converted mana cost X or less from among them onto the battlefield. Put the rest into your graveyard. Nice little forest scene there. Shanna Sisse's Legacy is our legendary. And a Plains and a Sapling. Alright, who's doing the tribal sapling or fungus thing? They seem pretty good, especially when you get that other guy that gives them plus one, plus one each. They turn into a, quite a formidable force. Okay, next up we have Memorial to Genius. And I'm sure Jace would imagine that is a memorial to him. Nature's Spiral. Final Parting. And... Oh wow, look at that! Foil Gilded Lotus! Fantastic! Love that foiling! And Squee! Legendary Creature Goblin. Squee the Immortal for 3 mana. You may cast him from your graveyard or from exile. He's a 2 1. He just does not go away. Planes and a Knight. Has anyone squeed your opponent? 
Is that a th maybe that's a new uh, thing? Squeeing your opponent. Keep bringing him back. So they're sick of him. Tribal goblins with a squee. I wonder if that's a thing. There's the evacuation elephant, as I so often say. And our common pile is going to tip over at any moment, so I'm going to create a new one. Next we have a Dauntless Bodyguard, Gaia's Blessing, and our un now our Uncommons are spilling everywhere. Like I said, the cards seem slippery, and a Territorial Allosaurus Dinosaur with Kicker, two in a forest, when he enters the battlefield, if he was kicked, it fights another target creature, he's a 5-5 five, five for 4 mana, and Raph Capuchin, with a planes and an elemental token. So we're in this last stack. We have so far pulled four mythics. Let's see if we can add to the juicy goodness. And if not, at least we'll have a lot of fun cracking packs. As you may have guessed, this channel is all about cracking packs with the occasional tutorial thrown in. We get a Fungal Plots, Orkish Vandal, and a Shalai Voice of Plenty is the rare. So that was the one that was annoying me today. 3-4 four for 4 mana with flying. You, Planeswalkers you control, and other creatures you control have Hexproof. That is pretty good. Four and two forests. Put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. And I would like to get a playmat of that at some point. That is incredible artwork. Grun, my mate Grun from Draft. Swung him in with 20 damage. That was fantastic, except my opponent blocked with their warrior tokens. Swamp. And a sapling. If only, I think the key with Grun is to give him Trample to just get that excess damage through to the target player. And then people will start sweating. Because as long as they can chump block him, then it's not a big deal. Next up. In Bolus's clutches. Where is Nicol Bolus? He was on the table here earlier. I feel like he needs to put in an appearance. On Sarah's wings and a woodland cemetery. So a woodland cemetery and battlefield tapped unless you control a swamp or a forest. One of those check lands. Arvad the Cursed. And a forest and a dancing sapling. Alright. Khan. We need you. Where is Khan? Where is Khan? And it's the evacuation elephant again. I'm not happy. There's only one rat I've pulled. This is beginning to be a little like that. Um, if you've seen the series uh, Jackalope Hunting in Exodus, we are looking for the fabled Jackalope Herd card out of the Exodus packs. And... We haven't had a lot of luck, but maybe that will change soon. Next up, Goblin War Chief. Goblin Barrage. And a two-headed giant. What do you think of the two-headed giant format? Seems a little complicated to me. I'm more a one-on-one -on -one fan. Or maybe a Commander slash EDH is alright on occasion. 4-4 four, four for four mana. When it attacks, flip two coins if both come up heads, he gains double strike. If they come up tails, he gains menace. Solid card and a Slindivoda, the Rising Deep. I could imagine that being a Star Wars character on a water planet island and a Sapling. Oh, we're getting down in the packs here. We may need to call in the big guns. We may need to call in Nicole Bolas. If we don't get a crazy pull, I'm going to call in Nicole Bolas and see if he can help us. Nicole Bolas, you're our only hope. Get in here. Alright, Knight of Grace. Seal away, there's a good one. Lock up the creatures. I think that's a little like Stasis Snare, if you remember that one. 
Fall of the Thran is the rare one, destroy all lands, two and three, each player returns two land cards from their graveyard to the battlefield. That was our rare, hello the Fire Fletcher, and a Mountain, and the Dancing Sapling. Okay, Nicole Leboles, where are you? Where are you, sir? Here he is, I found him in the Planeswalker Exile Zone. He's going to bless the last packs and he doesn't care how much damage he causes in the process. He's going to watch and he's going to laugh at us if we don't pull any more mythics. So Nicole Bolles, you've blessed the packs. Thank you, sir. We need a few more of these. these see this one here. If you can get some of those, those orange little icons there we're looking for a bunch of those or i would settle for another 25 rat colonies yes rat colony got it i'm getting closer and closer to my rat colony deck how many rats do you need in a rat colony deck like 60 is that good Song of Freilis, Diligent Excavator, and a Mishra's Self-Replicator. I saw this one at pre-release. Fairly nasty card. 2-2 two, two for 5 mana. Artifact Creature Assembly Worker. Whenever you cast a Historic Spell, you may pay one. If you do, create a token that's a copy of Mishra's Self-Replicator. And a Tetrova Benthic Druid. And an island, and another sapling. Uh, one thing I did not mention yet. The 1000 subscriber giveaway coming up real soon at the time of this filming. That will be for a Dominaria bundle. So, I bet people are looking forward to that. So stay tuned, be sure to be subscribed so you do not miss that giveaway. And again, that is US and Canada only, but I have not announced the actual giveaway and the details yet, so stay tuned. Wizards Lightning. And I feel like I'm just pulling all the cards out there. Howling Golem and the Mending of Dominaria. So this is a Saga 1 and 2. Put the top two cards of your library into your graveyard. Then you may return a creature card from your graveyard to your hand. And three is return all land cards from your graveyard to the battlefield, then shuffle your graveyard into your library. What do people think of the artwork on these sagas? What is your favourite? Is the vertical format good for you, or you wish they had done it differently? And a spared steward of Argive, mountain and a knight. Down to last four packs, Mr. Bolus. Are we in your clutches? Have you deceived us? I've heard talk that you are a deceiver not to be trusted. And but you have such rat colony! You have such a trusting face. Like, how could we how could we not trust this face? Look at that. Would you buy a car from this man if he was your car salesman? Or actually, well, he's not a man, he's an elder dragon. Isn't that the correct terminology? Leave a note in the comments if you wish to correct me. Cast down, that's pretty decent. Seal away, another good one. And a Goblin Chain Whirler. This is another one I needed in my Mono Red Aggro. And I ended up buying a bunch from the store, or a three I think I bought. Three, three for three mana. First strike, when it enters the battlefield it deals one damage to each opponent and each creature and planeswalker they control. Pretty nasty for knocking off those tokens, especially those pesky saplings. OMG! A foil mox amber, holy crap! Legendary artifact for zero, add one mana of any colour, you know the drill! Whoa! Look at that! Foil mythic! Craziness! This is craziness! Oh, this box, uh, I don't know where to put it, do I put it in the mythic pile or the, I'll put it in the foils, holy cow, Woo. 
That is an incredible pull, Mr. Bolas. You've done it, mate. Buddy. Adelis the Cinderwind. I don't even care. That we got a mock samba. Let's just end the video right here. It's all gonna be downhill. Thank you for watching and yeah, maybe you'll miss the foil card that's in one of these three packs. So, you know, maybe, 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 maybe you should stick around. You could also hear me make a fool of myself with another rat colony. That's a possibility. That's always entertaining. Or not. Maybe it's you just shake your head in sadness or bemusement. Skizik on Sarah's wings. And a Black Blade Reforged. Okay, that is not a foil, even though I'm moving it around like a foil. So this is good. I had this at draft. Uh, it's a legendary artifact equipment for two mana. A quick creature gets plus one, plus one for each land you control. That's pretty crazy. Equip a legendary creature costs three. I ended up having to equip for seven, so... Not as good of a deal, but if you have a ton of lands, it can get out of control. Shanna Sisse's Legacy, Planes, and an Elemental Token. Down to the wire here, last two packs. And shortly, I'm going to pop up the incredible value of this box. Oh yeah, Rat Colony. Yep, like the Rat Colony. Nope. Not gonna do that voice. Rat Colony! Not gonna do it. No. Okay, Amaranthine Wall. The stupidity on this channel sometimes reaches epic proportions. If you do not like it, then why are you watching? Board the Weatherlight. There we go, Cabal Stronghold. Stronghold. So that was on one of our uh, lands in the distance there, I believe. So you can. Add colorless mana to your mana pool, pay three and tap, add a swamp for each basic swamp you control. Alright. And a Rona Disciple of Gix is the legendary. There it is. So that, if I'm not mistaken, is the one and the same thing. Pretty cool how they tied that together. A swamp and a sapling. So... I don't want, let's put this over here, I don't want to be greedy. Five mythics, one of which is a foil, a good foil. That card alone is probably a significant proportion of the value of the box. And I'm thinking we've blown the box value out of the water already, but let's see what we get in this final pack. Oh, spoilers, spoilers, we don't want spoilers. Yeah. There's some legendary thing back there. Eldest Reborn. Let's carefully get these on Sarah's wings. Verdant Force is the rare. So, Elemental 7-7 seven, seven for 8 mana. At the beginning of each upkeep, create a 1-1 one, one green sapling creature token. So that seems fun later in the game. Keep popping out the saplings. And a foil, Yavamaya Sap Herd, Fungus, when it enters Battlefield, create a 1 1 green sapling creature token. There's a lot of things that create sapling creature tokens in this set. Okay, Vadak, Keeper of the Flame, and a Swamp, and a Knight. So let's go through here. We've got some. Nice foils. Oh yeah, they slide around a fair bit more than the old ones, I would say. And our rares. Let's skip through them really quick here. Some nice pulls from among them. Worth a couple of bucks. Very nice. What is your favourite rare? in this set so far and what is your favorite mythic and of course how could we forget foil mox amber holy crap this is the jackpot right here aside from maybe a Khan 
Mock Samba, so we got a regular and a foil. History of Benalia, Moldrotha, the Grave Tide, and Lyra Dawnbringer. I'm going to call it. This is a fantastic box. And let's take a look at the value. I'm going to put it up around here. I have a feeling it's going to be way more than box one. Probably more than box two, which we're still going through. So stay tuned for those videos. We're still working our way through box two, snacking on it a few packs at a time. All right, so that's it for box number three of Dominaria. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. And don't forget, stay tuned to the channel, enter the giveaways. We have some fun stuff coming up. The 900 subscriber giveaway for the Dominaria pre-release pack, which is coming up real soon now. Then the 1000 subscriber giveaway. If I can reach it for a Dominaria bundle, very cool. And also a live stream to celebrate 1000 subscribers. There will be pack openings, there will be Q&A, there will be peeks at the future packs and boxes opened on the channel. And a couple of other surprises as well. So. Stay tuned, subscribe, and have a great day.